Welcome to our fifth installment on our lightning course for software asset management concepts. We wanted to talk about today software license management. We've now established what we own through software entitlement, and we've talked about what we're using or consuming in our license consumption. Now we're going to marry it together in the critical process of software license management. And so we wanted to break through a couple of the steps that are necessary to kind of identify and delineate exactly how you can march through a process of understanding uh, your effective license position. So first, you obviously want to do some contract discovery and gather all the relevant contract documents necessary to establish complete accurate license entitlement and usage rights and, and kind of glean from those documents an entitlement position, a list of everything that you own and how many licenses. Once you have that, then you want to go out and do discovery and understand your deployments, understand what you're consuming, and produce a consumption position of exactly the license or of what you're consuming and how it's measured. And then you marry those two together of what you're owning and what you're consuming in what we call an ELP or an effective license position. And that's the nuts and bolts that show I own five, I'm using four, I have one on the shelf, I'm great. Or I'm using 10 and I only own eight, I need to go buy two more or stop using two. And kind of that analysis. And after you have that kind of deep report, what is often useful is to produce a risk and opportunity assessment, kind of a, a high-level document perhaps for leadership that says, hey, so what? Why does this matter? And kind of explain next steps. Very good. And it's important that we also keep in mind here that there are, there are solutions, there are, there's tools or technology that can help us in that discovery process, that can help us in entitlement reconciliation process. Automate some of they those They automate steps. a lot yeah. of the manual work, right? And the goal of any SAM program, we're trying to get as close to real-time reporting as possible. Now, sometimes that's incredibly difficult to do, and sometimes things are tracked in Excel, right, in a spreadsheet. But the goal is that we can produce reporting that's actually actionable and intelligent for informed business decisions. Right. So one of the things we want to talk about now is we want to look at three different worlds. There's going to be a visual here that, where we talk about this. So our goal is that we really only want to consume and purchase what we actually need as an organization. So we have some hypothetical boxes here. And this box can represent a, a, a certain publisher's software or you could even drill down and think of it almost on a per product or per application basis, right. right? But the point is that it's going to be something that is consumable and something that's licensable. So this first box is the representation of software that we are consuming. If we move along here then, we can see that we, we are entitled to use cer certain software. We purchased the software for a given publisher or a given product, but you can see here that they don't perfectly overlap. They're not lined up. Why is that, gosh darn it? It's because oftentimes it's really easy to deploy software. It's really easy to consume it. License keys get spread around or, you know, someone is opened up to an active directory group that allows them to download software that they otherwise shouldn't be able to do. And the point here is that they don't line up perfectly. And they almost never do, unfortunately. The goal is to line up as closely overlapping as closely as possible, right? But you can see here that there's software that's being consumed that we're not entitled to use, and there's software that we're entitled to use that we're actually not consuming. In other words, it's sitting on the shelf, right? It's, it's surplus Waste. today. Yep. So that middle box here is what we are consuming as well as what we're in, entitled to use. So if you think here, what are the action words then that we want to take? Well, if we're consuming something that we are not entitled to use, we need to deprovision or uninstall that software. On the flip side, if we're entitled to use something but we're not consuming it, why are we paying for it? Cancel support, you know, cancel that, whatever you need to do to stop paying uh, for that software in the future. Now let's look at the third box here, which is what's needed. So Chris, why is why is it there right. not a perfect overlap between consumption and needed? Sometimes we install software that we don't use, and mm -hmm. it just sits out there, and we're required to pay for it, but we're not actually getting any business value out of it. Exactly. So when we think about that, if we need software, but we're not currently using it or consuming it, and we're not entitled to use it, we need to make a purchase, right? Sometimes making a purchase is the correct plan of attack, right? We talked about software asset management being more than just cost savings or reducing our spend. In this case, we actually need to buy something because we're trying to get value uh, for that software. The other thing here is if we look there on what we're consuming and what we need, 
but we're not entitled to use it, well, we also need to make a purchase, right? Because we're probably violating our software licensing agreements. And then if we look here on what we need and what we're entitled to use, well, if we're not currently consuming it, again, install or provision that software. Looking here then up above, if we look and see of what we're consumed what we're consuming and what we're entitled to use, but we don't actually need. Well, if we don't need it, but we're consuming it, let's deprovision or let's uninstall that software as well, right? So the real goal here is that we align what we're consuming, what we're entitled to use, and what we need all over each other. And that's where we're in an optimized state, right? If we, those These areas are always shifting. They're always moving around a little bit, right? With dynamic IT and ever-changing infrastructure and with the migration and adoption to cloud and SaaS, it's very, very easy to sort of make this whole idea become a little bit burdensome for, burdensome for organizations. But luckily, that's where software asset management comes in, right? We can help and be an interpreter of what we're using. We can also be an interpreter or translator of what we're entitled to use. And we can help work with various stakeholders around what we actually need. So with that in mind, that really sums up everything that we're going to discuss today around software license management. If you have any additional questions, feel free, feel free to reach out to us at englepoint.com.